So you mentioned um, we're coming up on our 100th day at the command center. Right. So are we planning to keep the command center open indefinitely? Are we looking at... Um, I Gosh, know we I have our not. demobilization <laughs> um, team that's working hard, so. Yeah, um, no, definitely the plan is to dismantle uh, the command center. Uh, we don't have an exact date yet. We were kind of anticipating that it would be around the end of June. Uh, as we try to, I mean, we're kind of convinced that COVID's gonna be with us um, for some indefinite period of time. We, we certainly, the heat has not caused it to disappear. We don't have a vaccine yet. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is still out there. It's still very contagious. We're seeing clusters of outbreaks. And so it it's not letting up, frankly. Right. Um, so, but, but it's becoming, I guess, more normal now. It's more steady. Um, you know, definitely our teams are now highly experienced in mm -hmm. taking care of COVID patients. And um, so we're gonna try to now incorporate the things that the command center deals with uh, every day is to bring that into operations. For instance, uh, all of our entrances into the hospital, we had volunteers who had been furloughed like from the Lifestyle Center. We were having them man the screening desk, take temperatures, do the, uh, the you know, interviews of patients. Um, but we've now, you know, obviously with the Lifestyle Center back open, we've returned them back to work at the Lifestyle Center. So now our patient registration staff who are generally, you know, right there at the front of the hospital or the entrance in the ambulatory surgery centers, we still have those screening desks set up, but they're now staffing it. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll probably, to the extent we can, um, try to pull all those command center functions into normal operations and then we'll formally um, shut it down uh, and if we need to if we do experience that uh, resurgence then we can always prop it back up prepared yeah 